Questions for reflection. Our first reading for today's Holy Mass presents us with the familiar story of the Tower of Babel, when the people began building the city of Babel and its large tower. They intended the tower to reach to the heavens and to be a center of unification for the whole human race. Yet this ambitious project failed. Why? Because it failed to recognize that what divides us both within and in our relationship one, with one another is the reality of sin and its consequences. And we cannot save ourselves. On December the 2nd, 1984, Pope St. John Paul II issued a post-synodal apostolic exhortation entitled Reconciliation and Penance. And in it, he writes about this effort to build the Tower of Babel. And I quote, Intent on building what was to be at once a symbol and a source of unity, those people found themselves more scattered than before, divided in speech, divided among themselves, incapable of consensus and agreement. Why did the ambitious project fail? Why did the builders labor in vain? They failed because they had set up as a sign and guarantee of the unity they desired, a work of their hands alone and had forgotten the action of the Lord. They had attended only to the horizontal dimension of work and social life, forgetting the vertical dimension by which they would have been rooted in God, their creator and Lord, and would have been directed toward him as the ultimate goal of their progress. Now, it can be said that the tragedy of humanity today as indeed of every period in history, consists precisely in its similarity to the experience of Babel." End quote. Are we trying to live our lives and complete our life's project on our own? If so, we too will fail. We need the Lord to save us from sin. And He has provided the way through turning from sin and turning to His Son, the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. Our response is taken from Psalm 33, and it continues this insight by reminding us, Yahweh thwarts the plans of nations, frustrates the counsels of peoples, but Yahweh's own plan stands firm forever, His heart's counsel from age to age. We need God. When we turn away from Him, we find only separation and despair. Let us choose right now to turn to Him and follow His Son, Jesus Christ. Let us choose to follow God's plan and not our own. The Gospel appointed for today's Holy Mass is taken from St. Mark's account at the end of the eighth chapter. After Peter's declaration, in response to the Lord's question, who do men say I am? Jesus begins to teach his disciples that he will suffer, die, and be raised on the third day. Peter actually rebukes the Lord when he hears this. Jesus then says, get behind me, Satan, for you are not on the side of God, but of men. And that's Mark 8, verses 31 to 33. Jesus then calls the multitude to join his disciples and teaches them the way of self-denial. And I quote, if anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it, end quote. These words ring true today. Where do we stand? If we have chosen to follow Jesus Christ, we too are called to self-denial. We are called to walk with the Lord through the suffering and passion which comes along, as well as the times of joy. Are we willing to do so?